Fun times over at Last Epoch. Last Epoch developers would appreciate it if you stop committing forgery, please. This article comes by way of Rock, Paper, Shotgun. They got the details over there. Apparently, gamers are cheating. I know, in current year. In response to gold generation and item, po- item exploits in action RPG game Last Epoch, developer 11th Hour has released a statement to combat RMT and other things like that. It says, in response to the gold exploit, another thing, we have reviewed gold activity on an account level, identified banning those accounts which have been participating in Ill- illegitimate gold generation. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Gamers are cheating in current year. We also have banned accounts with duplicate items, duplicate items from the first exploit, and we have been <laughs> and are continuing to process and ban all accounts linked to RMT services like both buying and selling. So there's been multiple exploits. I haven't been keeping up. I bought this game. I played it for a couple of hours, but I haven't been playing it that much. Um, but apparently there's been multiple exploits and people are getting banned for it. Now, now this is the funny part. This is one of the, the one of those games that allows you to uh, to mirror items. I know Path of Exile has a mirror item that's very rare, which allows you to make a copy of an item. But they have a dungeon and a rune of creation, which allows you to create up to like 12 different copies or 12 different duplicates which can really confuse people the statement goes on to mention that the both the lightless arbor a dungeon and the rune of creation the item that duplicates others with some drawbacks generating legitimate duplicate items has also been contributing to the perception of item dupes some of this comes from awareness regarding that these legitimate duplicates are possible as well as to what extent it may be surprising to know that Lightless Arbor's vaults of uncertain fates can actually produce up to 12 duplicates of the exact same item. These legitimate duplications can produce some very suspicious looking listings on the bazaar. Now, the key thing to remember here is that you get duplicates, but they have drawbacks. Apparently, it's some forging limitations that you have with these, uh, these duplicates. So what 11th Hour is going to do is they're going to update the graphics. Statement says 11th hour goes on to say they'll introducing they'll be introducing some mirrored item card graphics to assuage any doubt over whether an item is a legitimate duplication. So you'll know exactly when you've been faked out by a real fake or a fake fake. That's very important. Check, this is crazy, man. This is this fun. Of, y'all having some fun over there at last epoch. Check the story out over on rock, paper, shotgun to get the details. The developers are swinging the band hammer. This is good. And they're trying to alleviate some of the issues with some fake fakes and real fakes. And we want to know if you got a real fake or a fake fake. So they're going to be updating the graphics on that. And uh, just don't, guys, just don't. When you see an exploit, don't abuse it. That's that's just the, the golden rule. And people are like, oh, why would you do that? This is in-game mechanics. This is in-game mechanics. These are things that are in-game. Why am I being banned for in-game mechanics? Don't blame me for your bugs. You know, people gas. They'll try to gaslight developers to make them think that they're in the wrong for banning them for abusing the exploit when at the end of the day, you were wrong for doing it. And you know you were wrong. And you were snickering and giggling the whole time you were doing it. Just don't abuse exploits, chat. Check it out. You got these over there.